Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Micah Let's Play. And I'm Sweet Pea. And I'm Micah, because who else will, will we be? be? Isn't that awesome? In the last episode, Micah and <laughs> Professor Weasley were in the room of requirement, as you can see all around us. Isn't it amazing? It's a whole new world in Hogwarts. And we are about to go exploring after finding a mysterious note in front of a fireplace, which is now out, which is fucking creepy. Okay. Off we go to exploring. Oh. <laughs> Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. <laughs> no! I like how you turn around in the video game. <laughs> that scared me. I wasn't ready. Oh my god. That's yes. hilarious. Oh god, that scared me. Okay. And because we learned the vanishing charm, Evanesco! Lovely. And now I have more Moonstone. <laughs> Revelio. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Okay, okay. Wait. Oh, there's stuff over here? Oh, Ooh. hold on. Okay. Okay, that's, I can't get to that right now. Okay, we'll be back, Professor Weasley. We gotta explore. Exploring. Okay. Another one of those creepy little statues. <laughs> I love how he jumps. Okay, we can do... Evanesco. Oh, that's a place to climb under. And okay, so there's something up there, something up there, and here we go. Akio. There we go. That's what I was a, had a feeling we could do. That wasn't a chest? No, that was a pulling block. <gasps> oh, I'm full of stuff. <gasps> Quap. Well, I mean, you could come back, right? Yeah, I guess so. So, there's stuff in here I can't get because my inventory's full. Oh, that was so cool. Wait, but there might be money in some of these things. So, looks and like money I'm... money you can just collect. Yes, so... Let me go. Come to me. Here we go. I like that sound it makes. I know. Um, wait. Did... There we go. I am about to say, why did it go up so high? Oh! You can't even get the money? No, that's it. You see what it says, gear slots are full. Yeah. So I wonder, can we leave? Can we leave? I'm just curious, hold on. Well, I'm just gonna see if we can leave and come back, maybe. Okay, Professor Ruthie, I'll be right back. Mm -mm. Oh, played. Okay. So, guys, just so you know, if your item slots are full, like mine are, you can't go back. So, you just have to go forward. So, on another playthrough, I'll make sure... Wait, maybe we should reload. Should we reload? Like, just restart the game? No, reload and sell everything and then come back in here. Hmm... Guys, we will be back. Okay, guys, we tried to leave, and because I didn't save manually, um, I would have to do a certain section of the game all over again, and I don't want to do that. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. It, well, right? Oh, so that means I'm How missing out on Revenue. treasures. Oh, ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Did that stone suit of armor try to attack me? You bitch. I think it attacked itself. Yeah, that's what you get. That was weird. Right? Uh Wait, what is this? Is this a note? Bit offended. The room thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. Whoa. Basically, wash your ass, right? Oh, wow, look, uh, a clock. I'm um, not a clock, an hourglass. Wow. Oh, cool. And then that's, I guess, oh, cool beans. Oh, so cool. Well, that ax is sharpening itself. We're gonna leave that, look at this. You can feel the warmth. Right? It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get under here. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around it? Right? 
You're managing. Right? Oh, just look at this. So cool. So cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at that floating harp. Right? Can we can we play it? Can we play with you, little? No, we can't play with you. Okay, bye. Oh, what was that? Oh, even he's. Was that a golden stitch? Right. Sure is. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's this? It's probably money, but... Ah, uh, can't get anything. Okay. What was that for? Was that you talking mess? Was that you talking mess? Because if it was... If it was... What? Let me that. Okay. And I think I saw some more stuff. Oh, look. Revelio. Oh, that's so cool. Care what what's this? Oh. Why can't you just Huh, let's see. Oh. Right? Okay, I'm really confused on how all this is supposed to go. I can't get anything. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, so I could do that. And if I could open it, but I can't, that's how you Oh, it's just for you to get stuff. Yeah. And look! It's the queen. Just don't swing at me, lady. Oh, the chess piece. Yeah, this is from the movies. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I'm going to stop wasting time because I literally can't pick anything up. Oh, look at the books. I hope that house elf can find us in there. Oh, and look. Oh, I guess I grab this thing to get up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool beans. Hopefully I can come back. Well, I guess worst case scenario. Yeah. Wait, I think I just saw a vanishing cabinet. Hold on. Didn't I see a vanishing cabinet somewhere? I didn't notice one. I saw one though. I did, I did, I swear. Hmm. Wait, I did see one. There's a vanishing cabinet in here. Like, can we use it? Hold on. Only one way to find out. Right? I saw a vanishing cabinet. Was it over here? No? Oh well. It doesn't matter. I'm so sad I can't um do anything in here. Ah, uh, that really, really sucks. That I can't uh I can't do anything or get any of the stuff. Hopefully it wasn't like super cool stuff. That looks so cool. Oh, it automatically make you walk. Oh, okay. It's a cinematic. Yeah. Oh. That better not be problematic, Peeves. Oh, no, no, it's deep. L. Yeah. Yikes, careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. Oh. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Mm. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, really? if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. <laughs> I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you He's need. So cute. He is. Just close your eyes. 
Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Interesting. Everybody needs one of these. Right? If only. Quite a canvas to work with. Cool. Look at his face. Mm -hmm. That Kool-Aid smile. Right? I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Cool. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Nice. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand ah, the, the effects marks. of anything in which one is clothed. Nice. Okay. So a death of description, so it's a tool. Yeah, so all those things you picked up with the question marks. Oh! You can now use this desk. Right, nice. Cool beans. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Yes, it will be. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now. I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. Okay. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Nice. I support this. As do I. Right? Lovely. The conjuring spell. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Mm. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. Mm. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already that. conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. Mm. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Cool beans. Okay. The conjuring spell. Okay. So nice. Let's put you there. Okay. Let's do this. Cool beans. Oh, and since I'm Slytherin, I can go with green. So we'll put that there. And then she said the uh, uh, potting table. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Oh, cool. Well, okay. Oh, I see it has um, clipping and size well regulation. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Oh. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade oh. or outside the castle grounds. Sounds like we need to go to Hogsmeade. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Nice. Thank you, Professor. I'd like to know more about Deke. Can I use transfiguration magic anywhere? <gasps> Let's find out. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly mm. forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. <laughs> but I can see the that. room of requirement has its own rules. Ah, okay. Okay, more about Deke. Let's talk. Let's learn about our new little friend who's yeah. cleaning. 
Let's learn more about our Can little cousin. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, mm. and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you. Right? I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Cool. Okay. Quest complete. Right? Oh. And now I can talk to her again. Okay, so... Oh, and we got a flu flame. Directly okay. into the room of requirement? Yep. <laughs> so... Where is it, though? Revelio. Ah, she's over there. Oh, a letter. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip oh. to the Ministry, oh. hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Oh. So he's back. You can get the book now. And right. Go back to Dick thinks you was should it? be proud of all the potions you brewed. Um, I haven't brewed anything, buddy. Just made some shit. Okay, let's talk to Professor Weezy. What are we Wait, gonna say? Wait, but remember when we did that mission for uh -huh. the beheaded boy? I've more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment. Oh. And when he, you got through there, yeah. you reached that place where I it was like, like, oh, I need the whole oh. book. Guardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Finally. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Okay. So, fig and garlic and... Okay, so before anything else happens, okay, yes. Yeah, so when we were dealing with Jackdor, uh, Richard Jackdor, you were saying when we got those pages, yes, we needed the book in the map chamber, which is at the bottom of Hogwarts, right? Yeah, they, they um, requested the whole book to give you information. Yeah, so... So what, now we can do that. Okay, so, okay, as you can see, we have some new things. So, what is this? Interior decorating. Okay. Daily and keys. Follow the butterflies. Professor Garlic's assignment one. The map chamber. Okay. See, because now you have, well, you will have the book, right? Mm-hmm. Tell Professor Fig about the map chamber. Oh, okay. And he'll give you the book. Probably. Okay. Okay. So you're saying stop with, uh, stop with the room of requirement and go see. Oh no, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying oh. now that Fig is back. Uh huh. We can go back to there eventually and present the book to get the information. Yes. No. So, oh, what I'm going to do, acquire and use Venomous Tentacula and use a Mandrake on multiple enemies. Simultaneously. And simultaneously, yeah. On, sim uh, yeah. on multiple enemies simultaneously. So when I do that, I'm also going to do the butterfly thing because look where it says uh, Conjuration Spellcraft. So Cool Beans... Okay, so now, oh. So we're gonna learn a few more things from Professor Weasley really quickly, and then we're gonna do the other stuff. Okay, yes, Professor Weasley, help me. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, mm -hmm. or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Oh, okay. Should have plenty of moonstone. Oh, yeah. That's why it's already telling me to return. Okay, cool. Because every time I go out, I'm constantly breaking up moonstone. Talk mm -hmm. to me, Professor. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. Cool. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Nice. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Nice. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Nice. Walls and floor. Let's see what he comes up with. Okay. So, ooh, she gave me a whole bunch of shit. Okay. So, okay, that's the death of description. This is all, oh, these are the things I was picking up. Nice. Okay. So, I'm just going to pick one thing and then we'll do some real decorating later. So, I have five things. Okay. Hold on. As you can see, I can't do it there. Okay. So apparently that's too big of something to use. All right, all right. 
cute. Right. Oh, and look, for people who are like me, who are like super OCD and everything has to be symmetrical. Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna say, those other ones need a little bit of lining. Right? Okay, so that's wall decorations, cool. So now it's time for floor decorations. So let's conjure up some more goodies. Floor decorations. Let's uh, get a chair. Oh, and we could change its color. Nice, green, let's do it. How many chairs? Oh. Shall we move on? No, I just wanted because she's just basically showing me how to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Ooh. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Ooh. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Nice. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Nice. Okay. So now we can alter stuff. Lovely. Nice. I had no idea what... I thought that was for the bees, the magical bees. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Nice. Okay. So now we need to do this for alterations. Okay. So I'm just going to pick you because you're right there. So alteration. So alter its look. Alter its color. I'm going to go with purple because that's Sweet Pea's favorite color. And alter its size. Nicely done. Ah. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Nice. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Ooh. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Ooh. Pretty cool. Okay. So this is the scientific center floor. Ooh, botanical central floor. Mm. Uh, elect is am I saying that right? Eclectic, eclectic central floor. Yes, eclectic central floor. Ooh, I like gothic. That one. Yeah, same. This is gothic. Okay. It matches the chair. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Ambiance. Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. <laughs> Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Okay. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Oh, okay, guys. What I'm gonna do, I'm just playing around with it just so Deke I can see how it works. Seen this many plants here. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Mm. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? <gasps> A cool moonlit ambiance sounds perfect. I'd like something natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. Uh, I'm a moon baby, so let's go with... Oh, what, what would you prefer, honey? The same. Oh, moon babies. Here we go. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm. Oh, huh, sounds perfect. Nice. Oh, I love it. Wow, look at that. What a difference. Mm, quite a difference. I agree. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like uh -huh. it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Nice. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Mm -hmm. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Nice. Oh! Speaking of surprises... Oh, the flying books. Right? Cressida would be happy. They're even making sounds. Right? Oh, just look at that. That is so cool. We're gonna have fun in here. Yes. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. 
It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. Mm. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Oh. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm going to do off camera... Oh, and I leveled up too. Oh, nice. That was a, a side quest. Okay. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to alternate the room off camera because, as you can see, I have a lot of work to do. And, yeah. Now, not to mention, we need to go see Professor... Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Deke. Look, baby, there are no plants in here. No plants. I haven't done anything like that. But they will come. Okay, so we need to go see Professor Fitz. Uh, and then we got to do some stuff for Professor Garlic. And we need to customize this new amazing personal space. And I like where it's going because I'm a Slytherin. I like gar gothic architecture. So, yes. So, we'll be back.